This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today, we once again continue our Back to Basics series. I know, you all probably thought it was going away and you weren't ever going to see it again, but nope, we're doing it, we're back. So the first thing we need to do is organize our inventory because we have a bunch of crap in here that is useless now to us because they changed healing. So let's go through. That needs to go in there and all of this food. Food's pretty much useless for anything other than feeding you now. So we're just going to throw that in there. The wine. Does the wine have a countdown timer? No, it does not. Okay, we can just throw that in there. And then we need to organize all of the... Lotus and all of this other crap and at least we got healing wraps, which is good I need to make a bunch of bandages. So We have the the base bandages here. Actually. I know the healing wraps too, but oh Do we want to spend? The leather it's ten and ten these heal We have a lot of both of those so we could just make a bunch of those so let's just make a bunch of the basic ones. I don't plan on getting hit a whole heck of a lot, so... Yeah, no. Should be fine. Okay, so let's throw that back in there, and let's just hold some of those, and I'm gonna put the others up here. We also need to... Well, I don't even know where, where to put that. I have so much stuff going on, and my inventories are such a freaking disaster. Uh, we're just going to throw that in there for now. We want to keep the arrows. Everything else looks good. And we're going to have to repair this pretty soon too. How are we doing on... Uh, we got plenty of iron head arrows. We can drop the steel off. And then I think we're good to go do a bit of adventuring here. Okay, looking good. Um, well, I need to make some... I just thought about that. I need to make some healing pots too because these fellas aren't going to get crap from healing from my arrows anymore. So after a battle, we're going to need to feed them some healing pots. And, um, I mean, we could make, we should be able to make the, the next tier. Let's go look. Yeah, we can learn the next tier here. So let's unlock those. What do those take? 15 and one alchemic base. That's, uh, that's not great. I'd rather just pump them full of the aloe extract because it's easy to go get a bunch more aloe. I'd rather just waste it. And instead of trying to craft like all of this crap to get one, I'd rather just make a bunch of these and then yeah, just craft, craft them all. Yeah, just craft them all. It'll just be easier because we can go get more. Actually, I think we have more aloe, don't we? Did I see so? Yeah, we got tons of aloe and I can always just go harvest more. Something I want to do though, because we can get the ambrosia. Do we have... Yes, we have Mitra's altar. So we can start doing that as well. So to do that, what do we need for the shrine here? We might have to go... We're going to have to do some gathering probably. So that should be quick and easy. Let's go knock that out real quick so we can start collecting the whatever the stuff is so we can make the ambrosia. Okay, we got our shrine crafted up, so let's throw all of our resources somewhere. I don't even know or care where I want to throw it. Yeah, just throw that in there for right now. You know what? I'm just throwing that in there, too, because I don't care. The rope, I, d I don't even know. Storage is a disaster. Where's my rope? Okay, in here? Great, fine. Throw our twine. We'll throw that in there. Seeds, I don't care about those. This can go in there as well. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so let's place this bad boy somewhere around here. Let's see, right, right here. That looks like a fantastic spot. Will it go? Do the thing right there. Perfect, look at that. Okay, so now to make this, all we need is the lingering essence, which is super cheap. So we just need to make one of these bad boys, which is also super cheap. So let's go grab that stuff. And then we're going to go on a killing spree and make a bunch of uh, ambrosia goodness. So we need that and then we needed branches. Did I have branches in here? Yes, I did. So let's just drag half of those over there because I don't care to organize. Can I reach it from here? I can. Fantastic. Okay, so let's make... Uh, I feel like the durability is going to go out quick on those. Let's just make two. Oh, how much do they weigh? Okay, they don't weigh much. 
That's good. Okay, so we got that now. That's fantastic. So we can do that. All right, so our day is pretty much set. And I think, I think now we're good to go. So the first place we're going to head, because it's just a good place to clean up and get a ton of essence from dead corpses, is over here to the summoning place. So we're just going to come over here and let Indy just go to freaking town. Uh, we may do some stuff over here, um, but mostly Indy's going to be doing all of the work for us. So, yeah. Go get him. Go get him, boy. Go get him. Where, where is he? Is he stuck in the horse? Oh, okay. Horse is getting eaten, so let's... Oh, nope, maybe not. Horse, are you good? You good? Okay, we got a bunch of hyena action. Let's get in here. I, I, they're confused. Let's kill the... Kill, kill. Come back! Come fight me! Okay. Nope, it... It said, never mind. It said, I don't care about you. I'm going this way, so that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll fight these guys. Kill some of them. Uh, we're making super short. Hey, 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 stop that. Where were you? I thought you went that way. What, what are you doing? What are you? You're just, you're just all over the place. All right, let's grab this and do that and do that. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me all of your essence. Do we want anything here? Um, I'll take the arrows because you can never have enough arrows. Okay, let's continue. Get, get in there. Just go on a, you know what? You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, kill her or not or not or just I don't know what you're doing. We'll, we'll kill her. Okay, great, great. Let's just put you on just murder spree. Yeah, attack all enemies. There we go. There we go. Did you do it? Did you, did, did the setting take? Attack all enemies. Yeah. Go do the thing. Okay, fantastic. So now, oh, you got you got ten arrows on you. I want those. I'm gonna continue to harvest this up and uh, this up. Now, Ambrosia was really good because you didn't have to do the drink animation. You still have to do the drink animation, but it's super cheap. So I'm farming for it. Hey, get out of my way when I'm trying to get lingering essence. I will, I will harvest your essence from you while you're still alive. Don't, don't come at me like that. And it looks like we're in a fight now. All right, right as I'm, I'm trying to like bandage up, everybody decides to, I love how he's just blinking everywhere. When did you get the ability to blink? That's new. I want to be able to do that. This ax just wastes these people. Okay, let's harvest up the corpses. What is your range on? Because it's obviously trash and needs to be more. We're getting so many limbs and body parts. Like all of the limbs and body parts. Okay, well that's a lot of corpses and it looks like Indy may have gotten stuck so uh, that sucks for him. He took a bit of a beating there, has a bunch of bleed on him. We're going to let him drink a potion and uh, heal him up a little bit. So a little bit of potion action and then we're going to beat these corpses and get a bunch of essence from them. Check the bag to make sure there's nothing that we want. We will take those arrows and the iron and we got a corpse over here as well. And I don't remember, did we get this recipe before? Let's grab that. Nope, I don't think we have gotten it before. Let's grab that too. That could be handy. All right, well, that's done. I'm not even going to bother to repair it. Throw that out, throw that out, throw that out. All of that can also go. We're going to drag that down there. We don't want... No, I said throw the insects out. Throw them out. Okay, great. And uh, now let's go on over this way and continue to go on a murdering spree. Oh, no, he's not stuck. Okay, he's good. How's your, how's your HP there, buddy? Uh, you're healing a little bit. Let's give you another one. Yeah, give you a little bit of a burst there. And then other than that, it's just uh, good old fashioned healing. So we should be able to pretty much pick these guys off from a distance here. Yep, there we go. Well, that's a, that's a priest, but too bad he's going to die because we didn't come here to tame. All right, fantastic. So let's get these. We're just about done here. Okay, let's take a look at what we're at here. So we have uh, 33. That's not too terrible. Let's continue on our way here. Let's. There's a few more over here that we did not get yet. We can. Uh, well, that's. Uh, 
That's a, a dude. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Sit. Eh, you know, Indy just, he don't care. He don't care what your health bar is. He don't care if you got a name or not. He's just going to murder you. We're going to take those. I don't care about that. I mean, I probably should, but I don't. And then we're going to send him up here to kill the last of these. And that should get us, that should put us in pretty good shape. Give us plenty of healing goodness. At least for a little while. It's, I mean, the aloe is not bad either. Like, going out and getting the aloe is, I mean, it's about the same. I gotta look to actually see which one heals these guys for more. They can use both. But, you know, it's something different. Something to mix it up a little bit. Plus, we're over here, we're getting, uh arrows and other goodness as well okay we're looking good let's let's go grab horse and let's head back to base all right so our next stop is the brute we're gonna head on over here to this guy we're gonna give him a shot so they apparently rebalanced a bunch of stuff in the game and i just want to kind of go through and see how a bunch of these things are what do you mean you can't move go go get him indy yeah you're gonna attack everything you don't even care you're just going for it okay so let's uh Let's see, is his hit points changed? Oh, that's the wrong arrow. Okay, well, I guess he's getting some healing. So they, they nerfed the crap out of healing arrows. I'm not sure. Uh, they're kind of meh now. I mean, they provide a little bit of healing to help slow down, but I'm not sure what the the best way to, to actually balance these things are. I've been working on trying to a mod to fix a bunch of the stuff that's, you know, wrong with the healing system right now. And, uh, healing arrows are one of the ones I'm struggling on a little bit. So, I talked smack in a previous video about them balancing healing arrows, but honestly, it's difficult. So, I kind of, I, I take that back. I don't know if I agree with the change that they make because they're kind of meh now, but I'm not sure exactly how to, I think making them a quick burst heal may do the trick, but I can't figure out how to limit how long the, so if you take a look, that pink mist that's there. That's actually what, like, standing in that's what provides the buff for you. So, I can't, uh, I can't figure out how to reduce how long that hangs out. So, I think that reducing that, causing it, causing you to basically spam them more might be a good fix. But as far as, like, how much they should heal while you're standing in it, I've tried a bunch of different things, and it's either super OP or useless. And, uh, you know, I just, um... I don't know. I, I like I said, I gotta figure out how to limit how long the mist is out and see if that that feels a little bit better. Uh, because right now, just changing the amount that they heal is I don't think that that's the way to do it because like I said it either it's one way or another there's I can't find and I've tried a bunch of different configurations everything from healing to a percentage of max health to just healing for a set amount and it's just uh it just not it, they may be something that just needs to be removed uh, just remove them all together or rework them maybe rework them in a way that like you shoot the target and it heals every time you shoot the arrow into the target instead of dealing damage it adds hp that's kind of dumb though but and that may be the option i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments are you okay with them the, the ner current nerf to healing arrows give your suggestions on how you would fix it that i mean one of you may have a better idea than me and uh you may have an answer okay right, i'm gonna stop rambling we'll be back once he's done beating the crap out of this dude all right, he's almost got him down. We're going to run up here. We're going to hit him a couple times with the axe. Kind of speed this up a little bit. There we go. And, oh my god, he finally freaking dropped it! I'm super, oh my god, so excited. It's about freaking time when I don't come here for it. And I come here just to see how the fight goes. Um, why did he insta respawn? That should not have been a thing. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We're not going to fight him again. Um, he should not be... I don't know why he insta respawned. That's weird because nobody over at the summoning place was insta respawning. Interesting. Um, I did change that setting at one point because I'm using, I mean, the settings don't change between when I changed the map. So I did have it on insta respawn, but I changed it back before I started playing. So I don't know. Hopefully Indy teleports to us. There we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, now we're going to go to the uh, Warmaker dungeon and see how that fight plays out. All right, so we're going to tell Horse to stop. Stop following. We got Indy following us. Okay, so let's head on in here and let's see. 
let's see if we can get him a better weapon than this this hammer that he's using right now we're just gonna start off we're gonna take these two guys out real quick and then i think we'll just send indy in to gather all of the aggro so do i yeah look he just respawned too what is going on stop insta respawning stuff now well the uh, is the other one gonna do it oh okay you're about to get you're about to get some action here come on you gonna attack do it is that the best you got yeah look at that oh stop hitting me for your whole eight damage oh look at that 122 okay well apparently i don't know something really wonky is going on with my server but eh, you'll be all right okay so we're going to just send indy right into the middle of it no just go move you can move you can move go just go up there and get aggro from everybody just gonna have to take one for the team for a hot second well stop teleporting back okay we're gonna send him to attack that guy you going we're gonna block these okay all right so this is what we want most of them are on him no don't run at me go fight we should have brought the key i never think to bring the freaking key i don't know what he's doing right now he's all over the freaking place we're gonna grab this go in here and uh we're gonna stand here for a hot second oh 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 so it's like that it's like that i see i see okay well that's fine uh stop getting hit and run okay so we're gonna let him go over there fight him go go get him go get him go go on you got this yeah he's gonna handle those i mean we could probably jump in here and get get him from behind i don't think he's gonna need our help though but yeah we'll jump in here yeah look at that oh my gosh it's so good stop corrupting me and then he's just gonna go over here and murder everything let's give him a, a little bit of a hand here get rid of these two archers okay you get that one i'll get this one you got nothing archer skeleton so good yeah there we go that's what we want stagger him to death perfect okay let's uh let's do a quick heal up here let's pop on in here let's see how this fight goes with this guy i don't know what all they rebalanced and and what they didn't like i don't know what all changed but they said they rebalanced a lot of things here can you indy can can you guys get into a fight there i don't i don't want to deal with him that's your job i don't remember how much hp he had before it looks like now he's got eleven thousand and some change i'll have to look back at my other videos to see if he got tweaked at all so we're just going to swap over to the healing arrows i'm just going to throw one or two of these down just to kind of you know help him out a little bit he's only getting hit for 15 i don't know what he's healing for actually i take that back i do though it ticks 80 times at uh five per tick so there you can do do the math there He's taking a bit of a beating, but I think he'll be all right. He's gonna he's gonna lose a lot of health here. We could we could have him drink, but the problem is is he can't. Um, he'll get stumbled like that or or get knocked back, and when when that happens, it'll break his drink animation. So we just kind of gotta hang back and uh, let him. He's just gotta take a beating here, and then he'll heal up afterwards. Which is fine because that prevents the immortal thralls from happening. But for the most part, I think he's doing, he's handling this fight pretty well. Uh, we can even get in here and get this guy a little bit here to help bust him down even faster. Yeah, we're hitting him for uh, 117 a pop. Yeah, we're going to burst him down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get, don't get in the middle of that. We're going to burst him down really quick if we help out. So basically... It's a situation now where you just need to get in there and help your thrall a little bit instead of just letting them do all the work. Uh, that's not bad. That's not a bad weapon for us for if for when we want to um, take down big things that can take bleed. We can stack bleed really fast with those. Uh, it looks like for now he's he's just hanging on to this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump in here and uh, 
give him a little bit of healing here. And with that, I think we're, we're at a pretty good wrapping up point here. I think I have enough footage to make a 20 minute video. Hopefully, um, we will see, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. I wanted to just check out a few bosses that are fun to grind that give good stuff. See how those go. We got all of our inventory and everything sorted to deal with the new healing system. And, uh, I think we're looking pretty good. We finally got our freaking predatory blade so we can uh, actually i shouldn't have attacked with that i should have uh repair i mean we did get a repair kit so I, I mean i have plenty of them from grinding him to get this thing so we can repair that up we can put an actual decent kit on this thing uh we we're getting to the point where we can make the good actually you know what we need to do we need to go fight um the war maker and get the the good kits over there so maybe maybe next episode we will actually do that i think uh, actually, I think I need to know Star Metal to do that, I think. I don't know. I'll have to check. I don't remember. If you remember, let me know down in the comments, because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll do that next episode. But yeah, so not too bad. Um, I'll have to take a look at some of the pre- before the balance boss hit points and then compared to their hit points now and uh, see how much they really changed. Uh, but apparently they rebalanced a lot of stuff to make it more smooth as far as like leveling goes. And I think they tried to bring it more on lines with the Sipta map because in the Sipta map, uh, from what I've played of it so far, it doesn't feel like you need a companion or a follower. Uh, it feels pretty smooth to play through just soloing it without anything. So I'm assuming that's what they're trying to do on the Exiled Lands as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap it up there. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.